Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of the review of the Teclast A10T blade. As promised I've installed the latest ice cream sandwich. It's the version 1.02. This is how it looks. Much nicer and smoother than the gingerbread phone OS. As you can see, hopefully, it's quite smooth. It has the new display store. market is really good. It's showing uh, about the same amount of apps it did in Gingerbread. Maybe a little more. It's hard to know, but at least here I can find the ADW launcher which I could not find in gingerbread. Also uh, here in ice cream sandwich you can multitask. As you can see here, right here are my latest apps that's running. You know, for example, EMDB. And now an exclusive extended first look at Snow White and the Huntsman. Now, multitasking is really important and uh, it was really disappointing when you couldn't do that in the gingerbread room because this, uh, well I've already explained it if you watched the first part of this review. Also uh, the volume rocker is now a dedicated volume rocker. So I don't understand why they added volume controls here as well. They're not uh, in the uh, way or something, they're just not needed. Just looks uh, a bit messy maybe. You know it could have looked much cleaner without these extra buttons. Uh, the battery uh, is quite good as long as uh, Wi-Fi is off uh, uh, it can sleep for quite some time. I don't have the exact numbers, but the feeling's really good. It feels like the tablet can last for a really, really long time, many days, without having to charge if you just let it be. I've uh, been trying to use it uh, constantly. I fully charged it, left it overnight without Wi-Fi on, and the next morning it was, uh, I think, 99% battery left. I uh, used it constantly for four hours and after three hours the 15% uh, left battery warning shot up and uh, of course one later uh, one hour later the tablet force shut down because it was empty so four hours with Wi-Fi on constant use full brightness uh, I was downloading a lot of apps uh, I was browsing the web and uh, watching some PowerPoint slides and there wasn't really many images being dark, a lot of light images that would use a lot of brightness. So four hours of constant use is what you should expect. Uh, the USB on the go functions. Uh, I've tried mouse and USB mass storage. Both work excellent. As it, uh, when it comes to a Bluetooth dongle, uh, it won't support your Bluetooth dongle because if you go to settings and find Bluetooth, if you can see it, it says Bluetooth here, and I try to flick this switch to on just goes and goes straight back to off so there is nothing to do about this no chance also movies plays uh, really nice uh, no sync issues with the sound 
just like in uh, the gingerbread room. Uh, if you want to use Skype, you have to. Uh, you can download the Skype version from the market. It will work, but on the receiver end, uh, the image you're sending to the, res uh, the receiving end will be uh, miscolored, having a lot of pink and green stripes uh, in the image. Uh, to fix this, um, I have uh, um, applied a link in the description of this movi uh, movie, uh, which you can follow and install uh, a Skype APK file uh, that has been modified, I believe. Uh, and you have to make sure not to update this Skype version. Uh, it works uh, flawlessly. Uh, also, if you want to install Google Apps, uh, I suggest you follow the links that I have provided. Uh, and also the calendar. Some um, uh, Google Apps uh, installation guides uh, will give you Google Apps but not a working calendar. Um, if you follow the link uh, for a working calendar uh, you should uh, not have uh, much trouble getting it to work. Uh, that's uh, really the biggest uh, downer about getting ice cream sandwich for this tablet. It's a, it, it's a lot of work to get it working probably. Uh, of course you can install the ice cream sandwich ROM and it will look beautiful, it will run smooth and all but uh, it has a lot of shortcomings which you have to uh, work a lot for to get them to um, work correctly for example the LCD density uh, when you install the fresh ROM uh, text and um, icons will be really small. Uh, some text uh, it's will almost be unreadable. So what you have to do is uh, either uh, install a script that will change it for you uh, uh, via your computer, or you you can browse with uh, this excellent app, uh, Root Explorer which has uh, super user uh, privileges and uh, can browse your system folder and I'm not sure if you can f see this uh, damn focus well it says build prop it's uh, uh, that's the file you have to browse to and edit the LCD density to 160 that's what I'm running right now, and it looks really nice. Uh, text is nice, to, um, nice size, which is easy to read, and also icons look like they should. <coughs> also, I should mention the web browser is not really that fast. It has a tendency to spend quite some time loading pages and also uh, many times I find myself I have to when I'm going to download a file um, I will have to long press the link with the download link and choose open in background or open in new tab to get it downloading uh, this is all this is just with some sites uh, so you n might you might not see this problem. Uh, also, sometimes you can see it takes quite some time to switch tabs. Um, well, this is a bug that's occurring sometimes. Sometimes it won't, so it's uh, kind of hard to show you. And uh, Uh, also, the taskbar down here uh, won't open immediately sometimes. Uh, but this is also a bug that is uh, dis disappearing and appearing at its own will. Yeah, 
doesn't appear now. But I think it has something to do if you're, uh, for example, in the Play Store. I'm gonna say Play Store because that's the new name of it. And say you install an app. And it's gonna say here that it's downloading. Okay, it's it's uh, it's hard to reproduce the the bug, but eventually, sometime you will notice it um, that it is kind of slow to open up. It's not a big problem; but it's it's working, but it's just ah, there you go. You see the text installing Stuntbird, and it won't you won't be able to drag it open until the text disappears another thing worth mentioning is definitely the brightness settings if you remember from the first part of this review uh, in gingerbread the maximum brightness and the lowest brightness was about the same uh, this is another story this is full brightness and as you can see you can take the brightness down quite some which is really handy if you are in a dark room and want to save some battery lives or save some strain on your eyes also uh, I should mention that I use GPU rendering uh, you can find it in settings under developer options there we go and it's gonna use your 2d hardware acceleration in applications I'm not uh, I don't really know the mechanics of this but I'm, I have been told that this is going to um, improve the performance uh, and when it comes to smoothness running apps and running apps that's not designed for tablets. I'm not sure if this is correct so please correct me if I'm wrong. Also the gaming performance is just as good uh, in this ROM as it was in Gingerbread if not better. Um, and uh, I also have discovered that very rarely uh, and this is very rarely the Wi-Fi will drop out and you are going to switch it on and off and you will watch it as it tries to connect obtain the IP address then loses it and tries again and again and again and it's gonna do that for almost a minute until it connects again it happen has happened to me maybe two or three times in the past uh, three days so it's not a big issue at all but uh, you need to know. Also in uh, YouTube you cannot fast forward or rewind just as in gingerbread. I'm not sure what causes this but it's uh, really annoying. That's about it I think. I don't think uh, there is uh, much more else to say about this other than uh, you remember this LED light that is glowing when you charge your tablet? I also discovers that it will stop glowing when the tablet is fully charged. And it's uh, that's a nice touch, I think. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you found this uh, review helpful in your decision about uh, maybe purchasing this tablet. I um, can vouch for it. it uh, it's a really good tablet. It feels like a more expensive tablet than it really is and I think it will give you a lot of fun for your money. Okay, take care.